this is Indiana State Computer Science and this video is to give you some hints and tips on preparing for the technical interview for our master's program in computer science. If you click on apply and you look at the graduate admissions information one thing to um, look at first is if you are not a native English speaker and you do not have a degree from a English speaking country, then you'll need to demonstrate English language proficiency. That information is here about um, ways that you can demonstrate that based on test scores. But the biggest thing that people are looking for is um, what the technical interview is going to be like. So I'm going to go through that a bit. If you click on our graduate admissions process, we're going to skip straight to the Skype interview and we have a, a page here just dedicated to that. So we're looking to take about 15 to 30 minutes to discuss basic data structures and programming to verify that um, you can solve uh, basic programming problems and you have the data structures foundation that you need. Um, we take 15 or 30 minutes to do that. I'm going to mention these problems in just a second. Um, but you can look at the interview evaluation form for what we're looking for. Okay, so first of all, um, is the conversation go all right in terms of um, English language? So we're looking for that. Uh, basic programming skills and data structures and algorithms. You can look over these um, kind of questions that we're looking at. And we end up coming up with um, one of three recommendations. So for our top candidates, we'll make a note that um, we want to accept you and we put you on our short list for considering for GA. Um, or we're accepting you, we think you're ready for the program, or we don't think you're ready yet. Okay, so we're looking to come up with one of those three recommendations based on our interview. And we've developed a list of problems here that you can work on to make sure that you're going to be ready. So these are a few problems on the HackerRank website that you can work on to make sure you're ready. So we start off just at the beginning, hello world. Um, so if you have a HackerRank account, I'll log in to show you what this looks like. If you have a HackerRank account, um, it tells you that um, you read the input line and then you need to say hello world and print out the the uh, the input and you have a editor right here that you can work in you can choose your language pick whatever language you're most comfortable with um, so you're just going to complete that problem uh, for this problem all we really need to do is add the statement to print the, the input. So we read the input, hello world, and then we print it. Um, so you can submit your code and it's going to tell you if you're correct or not. All right, so you can also run this code in any other, um, any other development environment that you want to to work on the problems, whatever you're comfortable with. And then you can submit it here to verify that you have a correct solution. So one thing to keep in mind with um, submitting problems on HackerRank is it is very picky about formatting. So if I submitted this, it's going to tell me that I'm wrong because they're expecting a capital W and I have a lowercase w there. And you can see that in their sample input and sample output. So we have to match it exactly. All right, so if you get some incorrect submissions, check your formatting. Um, you can also go and check in the discussion. There's lots of people asking questions and other people um, giving, giving hints. All right, so if we go back here, these problems are a nice list to um, verify that you can do basic programming. So there's a problem here, loops, that's basically you need to be able to write a, a for loop to print off. So here we're printing off the multiples of two. You can read that problem and work on it. We've got another one here dealing with arrays. 
So arrays are the most basic data structure that you can use. And so here's a problem where you have to keep track of data in an array. You can read it here. Um, you can look at the discussion and you can even look through uh, a video, right? So HackerRank has lots of resources there for you to, to work on these problems. If you make it through all of these problems, you're able to solve them all and you have a really good understanding of your solutions and these are not the only problems that you can solve, but you can solve other problems like this, then you're ready for the technical interview. Okay, so what we're asking for is that you solve these problems first to make sure you have some basic programming and then you can reply to the request for an interview to set up a time. If you're still working on your basic programming, um, you can follow through the tutorial here. So this is in the 30 days of code tutorial. Um, so each of those has, has a problem to work on and a video. That's a pretty good tutorial to follow. There are others. We have a Python programming bootcamp where we have a few resources um, that are good for learning. And then we point you back at the hacker rank problems to test yourself to make sure you're um, make sure you're doing all right. Or if you're looking at C, so we have a C programming bootcamp as well with a list of resources that you can look at to brush up on your C. If you're still working on your basic data structures knowledge, because if you look at the interview evaluation form, we're going to ask questions about uh, sorting and potentially stacks and queues, arrays. So these are, the, these are the main topics that we want to ask about and we're telling you up front. Those are the questions. So if you're still working on your knowledge there, Tutorials Point has a nice, um, pretty concise overview of all this stuff. So there's not too much to read and you can get through and understand about data structures and algorithms. So we're, we're mostly focused in on the data structure so you can see linked lists, stacks and queues, um, searching and sorting. Those are, those are good ones um, that we're potentially going to ask about that you can read up about and you want to be able to answer questions and the types of questions that you need to be able to answer are there are some examples down here on the second page of this interview evaluation form so there's a couple examples that we might ask from basic programming and we're going to ask you to actually code this while we're on in Skype so I'll say pick your favorite programming language and now can you give me a program that does something like this or I might ask you about one of these problems that you have already solved. Okay, so for the data structures um, questions, here's some examples of the types of questions we might ask. So you should be able to answer these types of questions. And if you can't, then you're looking in tutorials point or other places to, um, to learn this information. If you can do all these types of questions, and you're pretty good on these types of programming problems, then you're definitely ready and you have a pretty good chance of being admitted. If you're unsure about anything in the process, then feel free to get in touch with us. Um, so your, your primary point of contact can be um, me, the person making this video. So there's my email address. That's the best way to get in touch. Feel free to be in touch with any questions about the process. So I'll say good luck and we hope to hear from you.